I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Like who? This room is this. Duke Manuel Godoy. Oh. Might be better to take a different stairway. Oh, uh, excuse me, move. Ugh, rude. Go the other direction. Making it so difficult for me. Like another room, like before we go down there, or just like after? Monsignor, His Eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Mm. I'm guessing it won't let us just randomly go in their room, so I'll probably have to do it like with permission, obviously. Or it'll let me go into Washington's room. Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see oh. you later. Never mind. I guess it's good that we tried. Mm, what's the other one? Can't go in here. Monseigneur, his Wait, how did I go backwards? Wait, how did I, did I get turned around? Was I not paying attention to where I was going? Oh, this is just a big circle, isn't it? I'm just going around in circles. Is that what's happening? That's the door to Elizabeth's room. So we're just, we knocked for Washington. For God's sakes, what happened We're here? just barging in. For her room? That doesn't seem very fair. But yeah, what did what is happening here? A chest with a half circle pattern. Oh, we don't have a key. It's annoying. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better. And hey, you're no better. Unfortunately, well, you said that was your fine. brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother. She still isn't ready. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you mm -hmm. one day. Okay. I wish you would be able to read that like a little bit faster, but it's fine. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Um... I don't want to consume anything, so I'm good with that. We'll add another one of the... I will consume a royal jelly, though. More caramelite water. Collector coins. A novel of the initiation of a young woman. It's like, don't into mind me if I'm just discovered immunity. Psychology. Huh. June eleventh, seventeen ninety one. My dear Elizabeth. 
Your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer mattered to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last, right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. P.S. Sorry, I didn't read the rest of it. August 24th, 1792. Elizabeth, I am driven to despair and doubt there is any point in mm. writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father I kind of wish they just played more more. the voice of I am certain the character the that's writing the letters. Thankfully, one because of the chambermaids is able to help me It's weird having too. him read them but as if he's they still remain the person I writing the letter because you, you either have to have, like, no... You like, when you're reading something, do you we put, so like, emotion into what you're reading? I beg you. You just kind of read it, right? Please. So he's, like, reading it as Your if there's, sister, like, some emotion in Abigail. there. As if he's playing that character. That but then also not putting enough emotion at the same time. She spent a long but he's not like going like a middle road father. here. I didn't so understand it's kind of strange. They spoke anyway. French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Sorry, I did not pay attention to anything of what she just said. Uh, I apologize for that. Can't go out that way. But yeah, what is happening to your room? Maybe I shouldn't stay here that much longer, but I just feel like I'm missing some stuff. Like, why haven't you even talked about this pentacle on the ground? Around. Or is it a pentagram? I could never tell. Isn't it just depending on which direction you look at it? I don't know. It's crazy in here, man. Do you think Mortimer is just happy that she's just totally like tearing up just, you know, their house? Like this is a guest room and she just like did all this to the room? Like, aren't they mad about that? I would be mad if a guest did this in my own house. I mean, she's just crazy, so they just, you know, they let it slide. I think I was going this direction. And. Can't go this way down? Okay. in here. Oh, we can't go up there. It's not fair. We're running and we're running. And we're running. Alright, this way we can walk down. There she is! Excuse me, Monsieur de Richet? I really need to talk to you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault, too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? It's so weird not salon. giving it to her. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. You're her son. Sarah de Richet's son. Yes, why? Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Um... Same as everyone else. I accepted Lord Mortimer's invitation. Ooh, I unlocked I know your mother Swift. very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you. 
Oh, I wouldn't say nursed. No, I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. That sucks. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. And next you're going to tell me your mother's succeeded. also responsible for that scar in your head? My heart stopped twice during the operation. I lost my memory for six months. You obviously have no idea of the abuse your mother inflicted on me. Wait. There must be some kind of mistake. My only mistake was ever meeting your mother. She's able to describe every detail without hesitation or getting flustered. It's becoming difficult not to believe the poor girl. Look, I've... I've got to go. Wait. I, I need to know more about you and my mother. Why did she put you all that? start. There must uh. be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Oh my god, no. Oh, I don't care. You're we should right. just use I, these whenever we can. I don't want this conversation to turn into an interrogation. You've suffered enough already. I, I respect your silence. Please excuse me. Well, thank you. I know your little game. Oh. You're no different from the rest of them. You couldn't give a damn yeah, about what me. What the fuck did I do? The only thing I you're you back here in is talisman. finding out about your mother. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Oh. Sister. Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now. Aha! Snooping you insist, helps. I'll tell you how I met your mother. Success. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations. They unlocked and determined. Of anger. Soon, people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. The last resort was to call a priest. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my uh, mother. Her reputation already Makes extended sense. beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Oh, that's not, not only that's did not it encourage fair. her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments to rid me of the evil inside. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's come here for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. Well. That was a good talk that we just had. I wonder if he, like, heard everything. Oh, shit, what? Use a golden elixir? Which one's that?
You know, I just I use a lot of my effort points, okay? It's just That's what happens. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service day and night, sir. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about my master. Is there anything else that sir would I'm like guessing to he's not gonna tell us anything. What can you tell me about the guests? Do excuse me, sir. Yeah, wow. But I am bound by discretion to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps sir would like to know something else? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the west wing, on the second floor, are his private chambers. In the east wing, are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. At the moment, these rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? Yes. Can you briefly describe the ground floor, please? Very well, sir. On the ground floor, there are mainly living rooms. Sir finds himself at present in the Grand Hall. From the Grand Hall, Sir can access, on one side, the small salon where the guests like to relax with a good book. From there, Sir can access the conference room, which is closed at present for preparations. That is where Lord Mortimer likes to gather all of his guests for talks. From the other side of the Grand Hall, Sir may access the dining room. That is where oh, Sir's is meals boring. will be served. <laughs> from the dining room, Sir may benefit from an exceptional view overlooking the island. It is also the best way to access the portrait gallery, where a large part of Lord Mortimer's works are exhibited. And in the gallery, Sir will also find access to the uh -huh. garden. But Sir may be reassured, the building is accessible on both okay. sides so that it surrounds the garden sure. in question. So, Sir so should not find cause to worry. No one has ever gotten lost. Yeah, except for my mother. Has Sir uh, another question? What is outside on the island exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, Sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If Sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise Sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help Sir in any other way? No, it's fine. Yeah, what would he possibly help me out for? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Of course, sir. What would you require? Hmm. I don't know if I need any of these right now. Well, it wasn't like completely useless, but... You know, it could have been more helpful, but I'm not really surprised. I don't want to be mean to the guy who's just doing his job, you know. It's a nice area over here. I like this. I like the decor. The, you know, the red is very pretty. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your eminence. Oh, God, Duchess. every time I look at this Monsieur guy, he's the scariest one Allow here. me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, King of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary uh -huh. Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary this guy. Tribunal oh, such Judge. Such a nice guy, man. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. So, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? 
He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? Thank you again for the vine. Your oh, enemies. etiquette scale it required. It is served every day at the king's table. I am delighted to hear it. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution yes. gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better, too, as soon as the situation is settled. Uh -huh. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> Is the wine to your life? Paul, the skill Very required. Much so, okay, we're just making a bunch Such of this. complexity, typically oh, French, mm. a Soudan, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. It is yours. In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the rule, but I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. I appreciate the same grape varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest. Minds I feel of like I just can't really do and the last time we drank here, so the orphanage just... in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. You just got to sit back would, and listen to would these you people. That? Oh, well, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I... I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. This is impossible. Wow, he's really, <laughs> really uh, emotional about that. It's the first time that. I've ever seen her so moved. Just mention that dear. orphanage broke right through <laughs> Emily's hard shell. She needs some fresh air or something. Is everything all right? Yes. His thank his you. vulnerability is Emily. In absence, but here I am again. <laughs> What do you think of Volner? The Prussian king is his puppet. I find it hard to believe the king of Prussia is so weak. Be careful. Volner is as influential as he is dangerous. You seem to know each other well. We used to work together. I see. Mm hmm. That's right. The air can do wonders. Have you any information on this Napoleon? What do you think, madam? What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going Isn't to be. Isn't it so war. obvious that we're talking to about people? We're just like whispering across the table. We're in favor of the revolution. Oh, that guy. And that it always comes down What do you think? Thank you. That's helpful. Of course. Monsieur de Richet? It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private? Uh, if you insist, I guess. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project on behalf what? of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count uh -oh. you among my allies. Well, of course. And for that, I have a little question for you. I don't know you. enough about him. The agreement stipulates an aid of 50,000 Louis d'or for 200 cannons. Yes. 
Surely such an amount will buy twice as many cannons. Wait. Don't try to pull a fast Wait. one on me. We're both young, Sorry. but we are not naive. I just totally... Please don't be oh, did I pass through that? I just wanted to make oh my sure god, I had no idea. And I am reassured. I have one last question I would like to oh pose. Oh boy. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Oh. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its... I don't know, we ask the war advice. Um... Oh, shit. I don't know. Reinstate the monarchy? The people make their own choices. You are joking, I hope. Oh, shit. The people I are no simply idea. not capable of taking charge, don't you see? They are an uneducated mob who react on the spot. Oh, the most incapable God. Of providing a coherent vision for the good of the country. I don't know how to remedy the situation without re establishing a solid monarchy. And what would we stand to gain by this? We've tried a republic, but it is clear that with the situation we're in now, that it's not working. We ought to return to a monarchy. Yeah, I don't know either. I, do I know French politics? The monarchy no. Is a privileged caste who have forever built their prestige by crushing and controlling the people. <laughs> I think there must be a misunderstanding. What do you mean? I cannot believe that Lord Mortimer advised me. Yeah. To I must have misunderstood. Excuse me, please. God Bravo, damn it. Louis. Total fiasco. My friends, I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always benefited from them. <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass in honor of you all, my new and old friend. Yay. I trust you shall not be disappointed, Mr. Washington. Right. We shall meet again tomorrow. All the guests will be present, as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Really? Until then, I trust you will find plenty to keep you amused. What if he's, like, pretending to be Lord Mortimer and like, sending messages to people, but in reality he killed Mortimer? All right, here we go. Here's our failure. You ready? Like, what? I could have searched Napoleon's room. I didn't know there was an option. I was looking. I was like running all over the place. I didn't see that there was an option to search his room. God damn it! That would have helped us with that confrontation. I would imagine. Oh, what kind of detectives are we? So disappointing. I'm mad. I'm mad at myself. Upset. Way to go, me. Anyway, let's just look what it says. Success. I found my mother's message hidden in the book. I managed to persuade Elizabeth Adams to talk to me about my mother. I gave Elizabeth Adams back her talisman. I met the guests during dinner. I searched Elizabeth Adams' room. And I failed to convince Napoleon of my legitimacy. Whoops. And I could have searched his room all along. <sighs> oh well. Damn. Disappointing.
Okay, so now we have our points. I forgot that we can, you know, add some things in there. Um, anyway, it's interesting that, like, over time, you can also still get points in, like, science or etiquette. Etiquette? Yeah, that's it. Etiquette, just by, like, the choices that we've made, which is pretty cool. And, you know, we got in, like, yeah, and almost to level one in manipulation. Go us. Wow. So let's put another one in psychology. Oh, see, our points are like way more. Oh, interesting. Okay, so that our points, like the higher level you get, like, the, of course, like the longer it takes to, um, you know, get to the next level but it seems like a big jump from just four needing four or three to needing um ten is that ten the lines are kind of hard to read, read for some reason so let's put another point in questioning you want yeah let's just let's just clear out questioning why not um Yeah, let's do that. All right, cool. Let's try to recover from us totally failing at the, the latest thing that we did. All right, let's recap. Before dinner, I was going to investigate my mother's message. I've got to find the place where all eyes size you up. Okay, where all eyes size you up. That'll give us one point in etiquette. This will give us more points in psychology. This one gives us a point in conviction. It's a point in science. Still have been able to equip this one though. We finished this one. Let's do etiquette maybe, because we keep missing opportunities for etiquette, so I don't know. 